conjugate or reciprocal symmetric tensor. Let us consider a covariant symmetric tensor AIJ of rank 2. Let D denote the determinant AIJ with elements AIJ, that is D equal to determinant of AIJ and D not equal to 0. Now, we define contravariant tensor AIJ by the relation A upper suffix IJ equal to cofactor of A lower suffix IJ in the determinant of covariant tensor AIJ divided by D. A upper suffix IJ is contravariant symmetric tensor of rank 2 and is said to be conjugate or reciprocal symmetric tensor of covariant tensor AIJ. For example, let us consider a covariant symmetric tensor AIJ of rank 2 as AIJ equal to 2, 1, 1, 5. Therefore, determinant of AIJ equal to 9, which is not equal to 0. Here, A11 equal to 2, A12 equal to 1, A21 equal to 1, A22 equal to 5. The values of A12 and 21 are same because this is a covariant symmetric tensor. Cofactor of A11 is 5, cofactor of A12 is minus 1, cofactor of A21 equal to minus 1, and cofactor of A22 equal to 2. Therefore, A upper suffix 11 will be equal to 5 by 9 because this is cofactor of A11 divided by determinant of Aij that is 5 by 9. Similarly, A12 equal to minus 1 by 9, A21 equal to minus 1 by 9 and A22 equal to 2 by 9. Therefore, the contravariant tensor Aij in terms of determinant can be expressed as 5 by 9 minus 1 by 9 then minus 1 by 9 and 2 by 9. Therefore, Aij is also symmetric tensor. Contravariant tensor Aij is conjugate or reciprocal symmetric tensor of covariant tensor Aij. Theorem if Bij is the cofactor of Aij in the determinant D equal to Aij, where D is not equal to 0 and Aij is defined as Aij equal to Bij by D, then we have to prove that Aij into Akj is equal to Kronecker delta Ki. We have from the properties of determinants the following two results. Number one, Aij into Bij equal to D, which implies Aij into Bij divided by D is equal to 1, that is dividing both sides by D, which implies in place of Bij by D, we can write Aij. So, Aij into Aij equal to 1, since Aij equal to Bij by D. Again, from the second property of determinants, we have Aij into Bkj equal to 0, where i is not equal to k, which implies dividing both sides by D, we get Aij into Bkj by D equal to 0, since D is not equal to 0, which implies Aij into Akj, that is in place of Bkj by D, we can write Akj because Aij is equal to Bij by D. Now, Aij into Aij equal to 1 and Aij into Akj equal to 0. From the above two equations, we get Aij into Akj is equal to 1 if i is equal to k and the value is 0 if i is not equal to k. That is, 
Aij into Akj can be written in terms of Kronecker delta Ki. For example, we consider a matrix given by A equal to 2, 3, 4, 5. Here, A11 equal to 2, A12 equal to 3, A21 equal to 4, A22 equal to 5. And determinant of Aij is equal to minus 2. Now, we are going to find the cofactors. Say, the cofactor of A11 is denoted by B11, which is equal to 5. Again, cofactor of A12 is denoted by B12, which is equal to minus 4. Again, B21 is the cofactor of A21, which is equal to minus 3. And B22 is the cofactor of A22, that is equal to 2. Now, let us take the first row and their cofactors. That is A11 into B11 plus A12 into B12, which is equal to 2 into 5 plus 3 into minus 4 that is equal to minus 2 and this value is nothing but the determinant of A. Again if we consider the second row and their cofactors we will get A21 into B21 plus A22 into B22. This is equal to 4 into minus 3 plus 5 into 2 again which is equal to minus 2 that is the value of the determinant. Again, if we consider the first row and the cofactors of the second row, then we will get A11 into B21 plus A12 into B22, which is equal to 2 into minus 3 plus 3 into 2, that is 0. Similarly, if we take the second row and cofactors of the first row, then we will get A21 into B11 plus A22 into B12, which is equal to 4 into 5 plus 5 into minus 4, that is also 0. So, these are the two properties of the determinant we have used in our theorem.